Jonian Research is a non-profit research organization located in Austria. We have about 450 employees and we developed this technology over the last 10 years. It all started with a PhD work of a colleague um, and this is a fully printed pizza sensor okay. um, based on organic materials, organic copolymer. Um, it's fabricated via screen printing routine and uh, the printing gives you high freedom in geometry and design. I think it's very well known in the field of printed electronics. Yes, yes. And so we have quite many advantages with the sensor. Um, one is the scalability from very small areas to large areas on many different substrates. Normally we print it on a PET foil as shown here, but we can also print it on paper okay. as shown here, directly on paper and also on very, very thin and stretchable substrates, which is like this uh, thermoplastic polyurethane. And this can be, for example, directly laminated onto paper or onto other substrates for giving or equipping uh, different surfaces with sensory functions. That's excellent. And what, what sort of applications do you see this as having the most impact? Uh, loads of, loads of, honestly spoken. Um, I think the most simple application would just be a switch. So if you um, touch the surface, you turn on or off a light, for example. Um, it's also quite beneficial that this technology itself doesn't consume any energy. So it's a passive sensor. Of course, you need to drive the electronics, mm -hmm. but due to the fact that there's no energy supply needed, you can use it for energy harvesting applications as well. And another topic we are just exploring, and this is my the colleague Clemens who's working in this field, is uh, vibration, so vibroacoustics um, for, for example, condition or structural health monitoring. And we have also some demos here. Yeah, if you have a, a look at, at one of our demos here, it's just a uh, our sensor put to different surfaces, uh, wood and ceramic and metal. And what we implemented here is a simple switch um, that works acoustically. So if you just interact with, with the surface by knocking on it, you will get a uh, information, we, we sense that information, and as soon as a double click is uh, detected, we uh, do a wireless connection and uh, switch the light to different colors. So we just show that any surface can be intelligent and can be used as a, as a switch. So it's the most simple acoustic uh, application of, of the sensor. And uh, when we go to our next demonstrator, uh, this is, uh, shows the capability of a condition monitoring system. So this is a machine that just vibrates and on the top of the machine we put our sensor. Uh, if you turn on the, the machine, it starts uh, rotating and we um, record uh, and uh, show the sensor um, response right here in, in this live spectrogram where we can see the, the lines, that are, the frequency content that we gain from the sensor. So we can uh, see if, if we click on, on, the, on the sensor, we can even detect a swipe. So just a very small uh, changes in the air pressure can be detected. You see it here, we swipe. And yeah, that, that's uh, how we show the uh, capabilities of our sensor. Excellent. And, and what challenges sort of lie in store for you over the next few years? What are your key um, key targets for the next few years in getting this commercialized? And yeah, we, we developed uh, the sensor during the last 10 years. And since two years, we started to do demos and product developments. So I think this is uh, the goal to, to show that our um, sensors can be put into uh, products and that um, yeah, our customers can, can realize uh, functionality in their products. Thank you both for your time. And it's aber abgestürzt. Oh, I think we have to restart the system. But it's mostly this. So in, in this case, for example, uh, a sensor as shown here, this one, a 3 times 5 matrix, um, is integrated with a flexible display of flex enable and um, used as an input device. So as an HMI, it's a 3 times 5 sensor. You have high flexibility for flexible electronics bending, but it's also sensitive to pressure levels and of course swiping. So different interaction modes are feasible by using the sensor for HMI input device. As mentioned in the beginning, the switch would be the most simple application, 
but also the flexibility is quite an advantage uh, this sensor offers. Excellent. And how are you finding your time here at the ID Tech X show? Have you had the chance to meet lots of other interesting um, technology companies? It's a very, very good show. It's very good for us um, to present this technology, to make people aware that a printed piezo is, exists and is ready for product development. And I think the quality of the contacts and companies which are interested in looking for novel technologies to equip their products with sensory functions um, are coming here and we have high quality contacts which hopefully will result in um, product development or in um, prototyping to show the capability of the sensors for the respective end customer. Excellent. Okay, well thank you both for your time and good luck thank in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thanks.